What is going on guys, it's your boy Zach here from premiumbeat.com. I'm super excited about today's episode because we are going to be utilizing dust and light leap particles presented by rocketstock.com. And so basically they have like this really cool um, light leak and dust particle package. I think it's like 16 4K overlays that you can apply into your footage. The reason why I'm super pumped about it is that for me, this adds an extra layer of depth to all of my shots that potentially I could never have gotten on set or I didn't have time to get on set. One of the setups that we had uh, that we had shot was like me dancing in this astronaut costume. What I really wanted to have was like some fog or some particles floating in midair while we were shooting, but practically it just took too much time to do and we didn't have the gear or equipment. We didn't have a fog machine, we didn't have any dust to throw in the air. So when I got into the editing suite, the footage looked great, but I was a little disappointed because I needed that extra layer of depth. So with this overlay package, I was able to apply it to my footage in no time and able to make it look way cooler. So I wanna talk about how you guys can implement this into your footage and how easy it is and when and when not to use it. So without further ado, let's go into our nonlinear editing software of choice, mine being Premiere Pro. Okay, so let's start applying our light leaks and dust particles. So what you're gonna do is import it into your project file. I have my project file here titled Astro Dancer, and then it's gonna come in and call it uh, Volumetric Freebie. Now, here's what you have available to you. It's all organized in basically from like subtle dust to large beams, and you can play around with it that way. Now, I highly recommend trying out all of them because um, kind of going through that process of elimination is a good way to find out which ones work for you, which ones work for your project, and which ones work for that shot specifically. So already, I kind of really like this subtle dust one. So it's basically like these light beams kind of coming down. You can see a bit of particles here. There's also this large beam with big dust. So this one looks really cool and what I want to do is apply it to this shot. We have me putting on this helmet and it looks pretty cool, but I think we can make it look a little cooler. So let's go in and grab this large beam of dust. We're gonna make our in and out point. So I'm just gonna choose a random point inside the clip, out, drag it in, and now it's over top of my footage. And what you're gonna do, first of all, since it's 4K, is you're gonna press right click, scale to frame size, it's gonna fit the whole frame. And now we're gonna go into effects, controls, and uh, change the blend mode down to screen. And immediately now we have these particles floating around, the light all works, and here's what we have. So as you can see, it kind of adds an extra little depth right there, and I think it looks way better already. And let's say these aren't as big as you want. Well, since it's 4K, you guys can actually change the scale to make the particles larger or smaller and adjust it to the frame accordingly if you have a 1080 timeline. So now, kind of the particles look a lot bigger, they kind of fit the frame a lot better, a lot better, and uh, yeah, I actually really like the way that looks. And let's just make it fit the whole shot so we have it play out now. Boom. The other nice thing about this package is there's more than just dust particles. You can add additional light leaks as well. So let's see here. We've got this shot here. It looks a little boring right now because there isn't really any additional depth happening in the foreground. So what happens if we add in just like this kind of random beam of light shooting in, almost like as a spotlight? So let's grab it in, drag it over top of our footage. You're going to find your in and outs on your timeline and then drag it in. And again, we're gonna right click, press scale to fit frame size, go into your effects panel, go into blend mode, press screen, and now we've got like this interesting light flare going over top. But it looks a little too powerful. So what we're gonna do now is actually scale it up a bit so it blends in a little bit better. And then we're gonna change the opacity so it's not as strong or overwhelming. I'm gonna change it to about 43%. And now let's play it. It just kind of comes in subtly and doesn't look too nuts. And again, this is where this is why I say play around with them because you're gonna find your flow and flavor depending on the shots that you have. And so I've applied it to a bunch of other different shots. Here's some befores and here's some after. One that I actually have had a lot of fun playing around with is the swirly dust particle one, especially for this project because it has so much depth to it. I'm just gonna drag and drop it into my timeline now, make it scale to fit frame size scale it to fit frame size, go to my effects control panel, press screen, and it just looks like I'm in space here. It looks so cool. Um, and again, if this doesn't tickle your fancy, if it looks a little too crazy, you can play with the scale to make the particles a little less and play with the opacity to blend it in a little bit more just to add less of a 
thick craziness going on there. But again, I highly recommend you guys playing around with this. It's really, really fun and it kind of opened up my creativity when going into my timeline because I've now seen some more potential to my shots. I wouldn't use this as a be all end all, but it's really fun to play around with and can add an extra layer of depth to your wedding videos, sports videos, music videos, basically any project that needs an extra layer of atmosphere. This is a really cool preset and overlay to play with. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this tutorial and want to check out more, highly recommend taking a look at the Premium Beat YouTube channel. There's a lot of really great stuff on there. I'm Zach here from Premium Beat and uh, keep making some great videos. I'll see you guys in another video.